Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the star stitch. I love this stitch. It's one of my um, very favorite border stitches for sure. So let me show you how to make this really super cute stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out chaining. So I'm just going to make a slip knot onto my hook here, and then we're going to chain and I'm going to chain you need an odd number of stitches so I'm going to chain let's say 19 stitches So I like to get the length that I need, and then I like to chain two more. So just remember that, get the length that you need it to be, and then chain two more. All right, so what I'm gonna do to start out here is I'm just going to work a row of single crochets all the way down, and I'm gonna start in that um, second chain from my hook. All right, now we're going to chain two, so chain one, two, and we're going to turn, actually chain three, so we're going to chain three and turn. So we have our row of single crochets there, and now we're going to work in that second chain from the hook. So I'm going to insert my hook into that second chain from my hook, and I'm going to pull up a loop, so now I have two loops on my hook. I'm going to insert my hook in the next chain. I'm going to pull up another loop. So I've got three loops on my hook now. So now I'm going to insert my chain in the single crochet that I made from the row before, pull up a loop, so now there's four loops, insert my hook in the next single crochet and pull up another loop, so now there's five loops. And now I'm going to do it one more time, insert my hook in the next single crochet. So now there are six loops on my hook, which is what I'm wanting. So now I'm going to yarn over I'm going to pull through all six of those and then I'm going to chain one. So that is your first star stitch there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work into that hole right here where that star stitch is. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop. So now we have two loops on our hook and then this stitch right here, this last stitch right here that you made, you're going to insert your hook in there and then you're going to pull up a loop so now you have three loops and then you're going to insert your hook in that last single crochet from the previous row that you worked into before so you're going to insert your hook and you're going to pull up another loop so now you have four loops and then you're going to insert your hook in the next single crochet, pull up a loop and you're gonna then you're gonna do it one more time. Insert your hook into that next single crochet stitch and pull up a loop. So again, you have six loops on your hook here. And then you're gonna yarn over and you're just gonna pull through all six of those. And then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna do this pretty much all the way down. So again, you're gonna insert your hook into that space right there that you made with your chain one. You're gonna pull up a loop. Then you're gonna insert your hook in between that last um, that last little stitch there so that last line there from your star and you're going to pull up a loop then you're going to insert it in that last single crochet you worked into pull up a loop and then you're going to insert your hook and pull up a loop to the next two single crochets on your chain there and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all six again and then you're going to continue this process all the way down. All 
So again, I'm just inserting my hook in that first, in that uh, chain that I made there, inserting it in between the, uh, in between my stitch there, that last stitch I made, inserting it into that uh, last single crochet that I worked into, and then inserting it and pulling up a loop the next two single crochets. Yet again, just yarning over, pulling through, and I just repeat that all the way to the end. And you'll be able to see too that this has a right side and a wrong side once we get to, um, after we turn here. And guys, if you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so we're at that last um, single crochet right there. So we have six again, and then we're just going to yarn over, pull through all six, then make that that little chain right there. And now we're going to go back in through that single crochet and just do one half double crochet right there on the end. And now we're going to turn, we're going to chain one, and see this is the back side, this is the front side. So you can see a pretty big difference in how that looks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and in that little hold that you see right here in each area, so it's the middle of that star stitch, in that little hole you're going to do two half double crochets in each one of these little holes here. So again, I'm just doing two half double crochets in each one of these holes and that's going to complete my star stitch on the front. So again, there's the hole right there. So that's your chain one space from before. So if you get confused, that's just your chain one space from before. So we're at our last chain one space there, two half double crochets there, and then we're just going to work one into that end stitch, so this one right here, so you just work one into that end there, and then you turn, and you see that is our completed one row of our star stitch there completed. So if I was going to do another roll of the star stitch, I would start off exactly like I did on um, the second row that we did there. So I would chain three, course and turn, and then I would insert my hook into that second stitch from my hook and pull up a loop, insert my, my hook in the next chain stitch there, pull up another loop, and then insert my hook in the next three um, stitches that's on my regular work until I have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I yarn over and pull through all six and do my chain one. And then I would work it just the same way that you did before. And that's it, guys. This is a super beautiful and easy stitch to learn. And it really makes a nice project and finishes out your projects nicely. Again, I hope you like this video. Thanks for learning with me. And um, subscribe to my channel. And happy hooking, everybody.